So, hi, I'm Ling, and I'm going to do a real quick composite tutorial. Um, disclaimer, I am a first year student at MIU Dental, and so it might not be perfect, but I think for those classmates of mine that are having a little trouble, um, maybe this will help. So let's go over the material. So you want to start with your basic, always. And then there's two instruments in your, um, in your kit. You have your plastic instrument, which is gold in color, and then you have another one that has a similar sort of shape on one side and a plugger sort of shape on the other side. And this will help you put your composite in. And then you want to, um, I also use the interproximal carver and the cleoid to clean up a little bit. You also want your Toffelmeyer and your matrix band. You want the wedges so that you can make sure there's no overhang and then you want your composite. Um, in a real tooth you would need etch but here we're just going to use bond and composite and the composite gun. And of course your carrying lights. And uh, we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is put your matrix band on. And wedge it so that way you don't get any overhang. Okay, so you have your wedge and your, um, your band on. And it's not as important to have it one millimeter above because it's not an album. Mm -hmm. So you want to start by making sure there's nothing in there and then you put your bond on. So when you take your bond, I, want, I usually put a little extra on the table and that way you don't get a big old glob. You can kind of take it off and then you brush the inside of it. You want to brush and make sure you get everything. And you don't want to put too thick of a coat. So all the walls, try not to get like the surface of the tooth because it will make other things stick. Just make sure you get everything. Can you feel that? Because I, I, was, I have trouble with pooling in the proximal box, you know? Okay. So to get rid of all the extra, you take your air syringe, right? And like I usually blow air on my lap first or on my hand to make sure there's no water in the tube because you don't want that. Mm -hmm. And you gently, just gently blow. You gently blow everything and try to get rid of all the extra in there. So some people like to do like a quick burst, but I think that makes everything just like not, not even. Yeah. yeah. So gently and then we're going to cure it on 20 seconds. Close your eyes everyone. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some composite. Um, some people like putting it on the table, some people like putting it right in the tooth. I don't really like doing that. I don't like putting it on the table because I think there's a lot of stuff on our tables and it gets really dirty. So I take this instrument, the one that has this kind of tip, right? I'm going to use the plugger side. Mm -hmm. Dip it in a little bit of on, just a little bit. You don't want too much because it'll be, um, it'll mess with the composite. So you want to take a little bit, and I scoop out a oh. little bit. Okay, so I scoop out about a little bit, and then we're going to start with the proximal box. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to negotiate it in there. Sometimes it's hard because it's like a little booger. It doesn't want to come off. Um, and so I'm going to methodically put this in. So I'm going to go over what I'm going to do. So here is your prep, right? So here's the mesial, here's the distal, here's your pulpal floor, and here's your axial floor. Wait, axial wall gingival floor. Okay. So the first piece that you want to put in, you want to kind of bank it like this. Okay, so you want to fill in all this first. That way you seal it, like in a real patient, so saliva doesn't come up or anything, and that way you kind of make the contact. And that way you have a triangle so the light can actually reach it. And if you remember from biochem or biomaterials, you don't want it to shrink. And this will help avoid that. It'll give it a little more strength and everything. Then the next piece will come this way and fill this in. And then the next piece will come here. And then we'll, we'll slowly build that marginal ridge. Okay? So that's what we're going to do right now. What are you doing like four steps? Well, 
however however many steps you need to okay. make it. So for premolars, it might be smaller because the proximal box is smaller. And for um, so then when you molars, condense the amalgam, then you kind of have to do it at an angle then. Yeah. So you kind of like I think I took a little too much, so I'm gonna get rid of the extra. But um, I'm gonna try to work it in. So now, if you see on the margins... How do you know what's like too much and what's not? Because you want to be able to make it close up, close up. So now you don't, you want to make sure that your edges are clean. So I usually go back with an explorer and try to make it look like the outside of the tube. So I curve it. I'm using the matrix band and I'm shaping the composite so it doesn't have like all the overhang over here so you don't have to go with, out it like in with it it's diamond burr. So Wait, that do looks you shape on the inside of the matrix or are yeah. you doing it on the outside? So I come in like here mm -hmm. inside the matrix next to the composite and I scrape the composite where it shouldn't be. So usually okay. on the sides here yeah. and on the sides right here you want to shape it so that you get the right shape. And then let's here. Close your eyes. So let's get a little more composite, so you can squeeze it a little to try to get it to the tip, and then take out just a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to fill in a little bit more. And do you see how I'm slowly shaping a marginal ridge like I when I do composite I want it to look like the tooth, the tooth. Yeah. I don't want to have to do too much work to go back and so go back with a, a burr or something so you want to make you want to shape everything instead of just putting a bunch in there so now remember you want to have a, an occlusal embrasure so all of this you see all this extra right here? I'm going to take the Explorer and slowly curve it in. Curve it like this. So I'm going to angle it and curve it so that the tooth from the side isn't just straight up like the band is. Mm -hmm. You can see it comes in, right? So you want to do it on this side too. Can so you pretty much just curve the Explorer? <laughs> So I am liking that shape. For the top, it's really important to um, make sure it's sealed. So sometimes I go back and I try to smooth it. Make sure a little bond is on your instrument so that way it doesn't stick. And you kind of smooth it out. Make it the shape you want. And let's cure this. Okay. So now that we have our marginal ridge, and you can always go back with an instrument to make sure it's cured all the way. Um, now that we have our marginal ridge, check to make sure there's no like gaps or it's catching anywhere. And if it is, then you need to add a little more composite. But we pretty much have our marginal ridge as a nice shape. 